hello welcome to my channel this is lily reads it i am going to do a weekly for let's see what element we're gonna do right now this is gonna be for march 7th through the 13th okay i'm gonna do weeklies a little different i'm gonna pull one card for each day to let you know the energy of what to expect okay um if you do like this reading please like share subscribe and comment down below for those that may be taking notes for each day if you can please come back and let me know what days actually did resonate um keep in mind energy is fluent so something that comes out for monday might actually happen on tuesday okay and vice versa um to book a reading with me the link is down below and let's get started spirit what element are we doing next wands fire energy all right so this is for my aries leo sagittarius for the week of march 7th through the 13th okay let's see what's coming out for you march 7th through the 13th for my fire signs what is coming in for tuesday march 7th what is coming in for tuesday spirit hold on because i don't think those are supposed to come out let me make sure all right tuesday for aries leo sag thank you wow Wednesday, Spirit Guides Ancestors, for my Aries Leo Sagittarius. Ooh, you guys are... So far, you guys are definitely walking away from something this week. What is for Thursday? Thank you. Friday. Friday. Thank you. Wow. Thursday and Friday are hand in hand. The King and Queen of Pentacles. Taurus and Capricorn energy doesn't have to be right. Um, that's crazy that they came out aligned like that. That's the same thing that happened for the earth signs. They have the king of cups on one day and the next day they have the queen of cups. Soulmate energy this week as well for you fire signs. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What is coming in for Saturday? Saturday. Okay, two parts for Saturday. That's fine. Wow. Hmm. Sunday. I know y'all like, okay, well, what is it, Lily? What is it? I know, we getting there. You guys have the same thing that Earth Signs had for Sunday, which is the King of Cups. And Monday. <clears throat> Monday, please. Wow. Y'all is better than Earth Signs. Dang, this is a good week. This is low. It starts off kind of crappy, but I'm getting that it's going to get better as long as you make the right, I guess, choices here. To move away from stuff that is no longer serving you. If you move the way you're supposed to, things get really good towards the end of the week. All right. So the overall energy for this week, it looks like the Ace of Cups. Okay. It's going to be an offer of love, a new opportunity emotional, emotionally. Okay. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter or a new home. For this week that is the overall energy and that's what i was saying there's definitely soulmate energy here there's a lot of love for the week that's coming in so i feel like this week for you guys fire signs is focusing on love okay so let's get started for tuesday you have the ten of swords okay you see this person's got their stuff packed the door is open they're leaving this stuff behind tens are completion okay so you could be walking away from something could be done overload burnt out okay Let's read what this means. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, okay? A weight off your shoulders, the end of addiction, okay? So this is for the uh, Tuesday. So there's something that you may be walking away from, just kind of throwing in the towel. Wednesday, Eight of Cups is also walking away from something. These are damn near identical. Look at them. They ready to go. They leaving they stuff up and they out of here. Okay, so Eight of Cups for Wednesday. The need to move on. Seek more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest. Choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities. This can also mean leaving home. Thursday, we have the Queen of Money. Queen of Pentacles. The ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. 
a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach, okay? So I feel like, too, the Queen of Pentacles, she's very stable, okay? She's a queen of money. She's very stable. She's got her stuff together. And I feel like you're tapping into this energy on Thursday, okay? After moving away from something, you're able to be more practical and figure out what's going on. Friday, the King of Pentacles, okay? A time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully. This can also mean a, support, a supportive parent and spouse. A good person also to work for. And Saturday, we have two cards that came out. The Lovers and the Ace of Wands, okay? The Ace of Wands for me is usually like a passionate beginning um, it's very passionate, okay? Fire energy and the lovers here. Gemini energy as well, okay? So for the lovers, this is for Saturday. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. The Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. For Sunday, we have the King of Cups, okay? So this is also like an emotional experience. Being more in tune with your emotions. This could mean a love offer coming in. Could be a water sign. Could mean a lot of things, okay? King of Cups, though, he's very in tune with his emotions. Very intuitive. Could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. Okay. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So then Monday. Yes. Monday had two. That's kind of cool. Just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Monday did have two. So you have two nines for Monday. We have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a wish fulfillment emotionally because cups represent emotions and a wish fulfillment financially. Nines is like right before you get to the 10 completion. Nines is also like my single independent. So you're emotionally fulfilled by yourself, emotionally fulfilled um, money wise by yourself. These are both my I can do it on my own card. I am OK solo dolo emotionally and financially. I love that for you guys. So let's read what the Nine of Cups is. Wishes coming true. Your dreams becoming reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. Wow. So that was really good. Yeah, it looks like love is the main idea here. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If so, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Please don't forget to come back to me and let me know how your week was and if this resonated at all. Keep in mind, this is a general read, okay? If you would like to book a personal, the link is down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.